Hi, I'm Mark McGee, NBA Insider with Sports Now. With the Denver Nuggets coming off a dominating performance against the Miami Heat in Game 1 of the NBA Finals, it begs the question, how did the Miami Heat adjust against the Nuggets entering Game 2? Uh, when you just look across the board, the Denver Nuggets are extremely dominant offensively. Nikola Jokic, who just had his eighth postseason triple-double, uh, then you have a lot of supporting cast, whether it's Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Bruce Brown, all locking double figures. And Miami, they've been very resilient all season as an eighth seed. Uh, there is some low-hanging fruit that they can adjust with Max Struess, Duncan Robinson, Caleb Martin, presumably shooting a lot better than their combined two of 23 from the mark in game one. Maybe Jimmy Butler becomes more efficient and Bam Adebayo gets the help they need. So Miami might have the off uh, the answers offensively, but what do they do defensively against the Denver Nuggets? Because the reality is there are no weaknesses. Nikola Jokic is one of the best big men in the NBA, knows how to score, knows how to pass. Jamal Murray is emerging into an all-star point guard next season. Michael Porter Jr. finally healthy, doing on both ends of the floor. And there's a lot of depth that the Nuggets have with Aaron Gordon in the interior. And Tavis Caldwell, Pope, and Bruce Brown on the perimeter. And so when you look at them as a whole offensively, it just see, it feels like there's no way for the Miami Heat to stop them. So it should be a challenging uh, task ahead in game two, but Miami trusts that those uh, internal adjustments offensively will at least mitigate the difference.